how are you? Intuitive D1111 here. I hope you all are doing well. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, in, as well as North Node, and Sidereal Vedic, as well as Western Tropical Astrology. If you want a personal reading, I'll have a link down below. Let's see what messages are coming through for Capricorn. So what do you need to know? Also, if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button as well as subscribe. It'll help my small channel to grow and then help you to know when I upload for your other natal chart placements, okay? Ooh, first house, first house Capricorn. Um, this makes sense considering the fact that Bl that Pluto is in Capricorn, which is your first house, which talks all about um, you know your physical body, your outlook, your self image, your life philosophy, your consciousness, your opinions, um, your self expression. Okay, right now you're transforming who you are. Okay. And I just saw second house. So with Saturn retrograde in Aquarius, your second house, then, um, you know, you're trying to make strides towards, you know, your financial assets. Okay. You're trying to, you know, really get your resources in order with third house perception. You're taking a look here at how you're, commu at how you're communicating, um, for some of you guys, you could be, you know, looking at the way you're expressing yourself on social media or, you know, you guys have probably, you know, having transformations in your communication with loved ones like your siblings, you know, your your family members. Um, I feel somebody also is watching you on social media. They want to communicate with you. Um yeah, sixth house. Some of you guys, this could be somebody that you you met at work or through work. Um, for some of you, you have employers that are actually or potential employers that are looking, you know, looking at your information online. I'm getting for some of you. For some of you guys, you um, you could have put out um, CVs, you know, resumes or something of that sort, and you're waiting to hear back, and somebody is actually looking into contacting you. I feel like there's a lot of stability that's coming in for you, Capricorn. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you guys are working towards your destiny. You're at a time of expansion right now. So any, you know, anything good, anything diligent that you're putting out there, it is definitely going to grow. This is Sagittarius energy here with the Jupiter. Jupiter's currently in Pisces, which is in your third house, which is right here, this third house of perception. So expect, expect growth. If you have like an online business or let's say you have a social media platform or you have some type of form of communication um, for your career, that's definitely going to take off for you as well. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, people are watching you right now wanting to give you opportunities. Okay. So they, so that's out there for you. Okay. So for the Capricorns watching this, what else do they need to know right now? What else do they need to know? Or how does the person on their mind feel for them? Okay. Capricorn, how's the person on your mind feel for you? Okay. So this person, God, this person doesn't feel like you are, um, they feel left out in the cold, Capricorn. They feel like you're not wanting to work on things with them or something needs to change. Um, they could feel like, yeah, like you're more focused on your money, on your business right now. I feel this person, you see how he's looking down? I feel like this person is kind of in this down energy right now. They're trying to figure out, um, they could have also, you know, something could have happened in their life too that has really also has them down. It doesn't have to necessarily be directed towards you. Um, but I feel like they see you trans transforming yourself here. Okay, with this death energy, Scorpionic energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns on the board. They feel like you, you, you've become detached from them. It's like you're not, you know, as focused on them as you used to be. There could be distance involved. I feel this person feels like, you know, you're kind of wanting your own space. Okay, I'm smelling fruit. Some of you guys, someone could be eating fruit while watching this. Um, Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you could have been dealing with somebody that was um, 
they're worried that this is over. They're worried that you don't want a commitment or this could be vice versa. You could have been dealing with somebody that, you know, um, typically didn't really like commitments. They felt trapped. They preferred to be free. Okay. You're dealing with somebody that is definitely trying to move out of this five of pentacles energy. They have a lot of burdens, responsibilities, a lot of regrets. Um, I feel this person, um, daydreams about you. They could also, you know, dream about you at night as well. I feel this person had many faces. Look at the way she's looking here. I feel like this person, they had um, different facades, like different masks that they wear, okay, from their everyday life. I feel like this person doesn't necessarily know what to expect from you at all times. I feel like there could even be harsh communication at times between the both of you. Um, I feel like this person is hoping, you see the way she's looking up, this person is like hoping that you guys can come together, but at the same time with the four of pentacles in reverse, it's like there's something that they've been holding on to that they need to release. So whether it's, you know, their fears around relationships or whether it's like, you know, like a literal actual being. Yeah. For some of you guys, it's some type of, um, it could even be like some type of toxic codependent habit. Or it could, you know, it could be sex, drugs, addictions, lust, whatever, whatever it is. There's something that needs to be released, um, because it's hurting this person with the three of swords here. And I feel like this person knows that you have invested time, love, and energy, like with them. Some of you guys, you waited for this person, and you just someone else could have been involved. You felt like it was a waste of time. Yeah, you felt like okay, I'm just gonna focus on work, and I'm gonna get over this person with the five of cups in reverse. I feel like you guys are, um, yeah, you don't want any more, any type of manipulation or mind games, okay? Like, you're looking at what's next. You're looking at what's next, okay? This person feels like they're, they're afraid that they're going to lose you here. Yeah, a page of swords, they're watching you. You see that? You see the yellows that are illuminated here, the greens down here. It's like this person, so the yellow goes with the solar plexus um, chakra, which talks all about confidence, and the green is the heart space. I feel like this person, it's like they're waiting to be more confident before they come towards you. It's like you move something within their heart that they, you know, were not expecting. Yeah, some of you, this person's afraid that they can't manifest you. And they can't manifest, they feel like they've tried, um, or you feel like you've tried everything and this situation isn't necessarily coming, um, in alignment the way that you want. Yeah. Six of wands in reverse. Somebody feels defeated here. They feel like they've tried everything and there's just not a lot of, you know, they're not seeing the rewards of it. So, so you're keeping your options open. You're done with the confusion. Yeah, you know what you want. A Ten of Pentacles, a long-term commitment. So what's coming in then for you, Capricorn, as far as new love goes? Because you kind of, you look like you're, um, you're dealing with, I mean, what's the outcome of that situation with the person that's on your mind, Capricorn? Seven of Pentacles, more waiting. This person's like, you know. Look at this. Reevaluating, more waiting. Painful waiting is what I'm getting off of this card here. Yeah, more deception. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. Yeah, you want to be left waiting for a love offer? Not today. Because <laughs> that's what's going on here. This person's trying to get their money together. They need to go through a hard awakening. This person's confused. This person is, you know, forgetful of different things. This person could be impaired by, you know, the people around them or different substances or something that's affecting this person. They have a hard time thinking straight. Very cloudy energy, okay? All right. So if you're open to new love, let's see. What's, who's coming in? What's coming in, in as far as new love? Woo! I believe they say it's daddy with a coin, right? Or if you're a woman... <laughs> I mean, or if you're a man, then, you know, um, this is someone that is career focused. Okay. If, it, if you're you know, looking for a woman, her, however it goes. Yeah. Who's coming in for you? Somebody that is not going to mind communicating with you. Okay. They are going to be happy to communicate with you. This is somebody that is business focused, could be in a leadership role. This is someone, King of Pentacles is commitment ready. This is also somebody that, you know, still is heavily focused on work. Um, 
they could have a child already or you do um Taurus Virgo Capricorn Aries Leo Sag energy this is somebody that could also have like a playful nature that's who's coming for you new in love oh yeah they want I mean commitment this next person could be the person that you marry with this four of wands card here Aries energy yeah this person is um you're, there's not going to be any pretenses. You're going to know what this person wants from the gate. Okay, yeah. Some of you, they're at a distance or they're going to want to move towards you. We have cancer energy here as well. Yeah, they're very passionate about you with the Ace of Wands. They spent time reflecting with um, the Pisces energy here. They're going to have a lot of love for you. They're going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. Namaste.